In 1464, Elizabeth Woodville found herself in a difficult situation. At the age of 27, she became a widow after her husband, John Gray, was killed in the Wars of the Roses while fighting for the Lancastrians. Following Edward V's victory from the House of York, she lost her property and her two sons were left without an inheritance. Elizabeth was forced to return to her parents in Grafton, Northamptonshire. As the situation grew increasingly dire, Elizabeth decided to appeal to the new king, Edward IV, to request the return of her property. One day, she learned that the king was planning to pass through Grafton and decided to meet him on the road in the hope of convincing him to help her. When Edward IV saw Elizabeth Woodville, he was charmed by her. Their interaction went beyond mere conversation and Edward felt a genuine passion for Elizabeth. He later proposed marriage to her. Elizabeth could not refuse the king, as it would secure a future for her sons and herself. In secret, in the late spring of 1464, they got married at Elizabeth's family home, with only Elizabeth's mother and a few maids in attendance. Thus, the staunch Lancastrian supporter from her childhood became part of the Yorkist family and the Queen of England. However, in September 1464, Edward the Serf's advisers presented him with a marriage contract with Boner of Savoy. To everyone's shock, the king declared that he was already married to another woman. This news infuriated his closest advisers and the king's mother was livid, refusing to attend Elizabeth's coronation. Elizabeth Woodville displayed arrogance and greed from the very beginning. She arranged splendid marriages for each of her 12 siblings, aligning her family with the best English families. Consequently, the Woodville family secured a favourable position and its members held high offices at the royal court. The love that King Edward V showed to Elizabeth was excessive and only fueled her arrogance. At receptions and dinners, the ladies in attendance had to kneel before her for over three hours. Each time a new dish was served, a servant would bring the Queen's crown, which she would don before removing it once the course was replaced. By 1470, the situation in England had become extremely tense. Former allies of King Edward IV restored the dethroned and insane King Henry VI from the House of Lancaster to the throne. Edward left the country and his Queen, Elizabeth, who was eight months pregnant, sought refuge in a cathedral, taking shelter with her two elder sons from her previous marriage and three princesses, Elizabeth, Cecily and Mary. She endured a year of hardship in the sanctuary, abandoned by her friends. It was in this sanctuary that she gave birth to her son, the first Prince of York, who was named Edward after his father. Subsequently, another bloody battle ensued, in which King Edward emerged victorious. After this victory, the War of the Roses subsided for a time. Edward IV reclaimed his crown and the country returned to its normal state. For over a decade, England lived in relative peace. In 1473, when a second son, Prince Richard, was born into the royal family, the Yorkist dynasty appeared stronger than ever before. Even in her worst nightmares, Elizabeth could not have foreseen that everything they had achieved would be lost in less than 10 years. Edward and Elizabeth's court was one of the most impressive in medieval England. The Queen had an annual budget of a thousand pounds for her clothing, which she spent on luxurious dresses, fur collars, purple fabrics, gold and expensive mantles. In April 1483, Edward IV fell ill with pneumonia. Realising that his end was near, he devoted his final hours to settling the issue of succession. His son, Prince Edward, was only 12 years old and too young to rule the country. An urgent need arose to appoint a guardian and regent who could make decisions on behalf of the young heir. His choice fell upon his own brother, the Duke of Gloucester, Richard. When Edward passed away in 1483, Elizabeth's life changed drastically. Her 12-year-old son was declared King Edward V and his uncle Richard was appointed regent. However, rumours circulated that Elizabeth's husband had been previously betrothed, making his marriage to Elizabeth unlawful and their children illegitimate. 
Richard seized the throne and imprisoned Edward and his younger brother in the Tower of London. Since then, no one has seen them, and historians continue to debate their fate. After returning to Westminster Sanctuary, Elizabeth and her daughters hoped for better times. However, the situation was complicated. Former Lancaster ally Margaret Beaufort proposed a marriage between her son, Henry Tudor, and Elizabeth's eldest daughter, Elizabeth of York. Elizabeth of York became Henry Tudor's wife and later the first queen of the Tudor dynasty after her husband, Henry, defeated her uncle, Richard III, in the Battle of Bosworth in 1485. Following this, Elizabeth, known as the White Queen, withdrew from public life and passed the throne to her daughter, known as the White Princess. Elizabeth chose to spend the rest of her life at Bermondsey Abbey, where she passed away in 1492, 